What's that coming over the hill? Is it an APOC killed by k 2 Wark? Oh dear. Da 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 wop wop wop. Campers are fucking item. Space. What the fuck is this guy doing? See, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh man! This is how they roll! <laughs> Fuck! Yes, K2 Work. A very valid winner of this week's Noob of the Week. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to raise your glasses and hold a toast high in the air and say congratulations to K2 Work for being this week's Noob of the Week. The hardened camper. We've had our hackers, we've had our cheats. Now we're on to the just plain dull. This guy... You'll notice I'm going to use a selection of clips because the gameplay is just too damn long. I ended up backing out of this game um, because it was just got too frustrating. And I tried to find another game and it threw me straight back in. So thank you very much for that Call of Duty server. <laughs> uh, but the one thing I liked about Black Ops 2 that they seem to have forgotten about was that it was a very clever thing. If you went into a game and it just wasn't your cup of tea or there was something wrong with it or the connection was bad and you bowed out and looked for another game, it would never put you in that same game twice. Ever since they put their dedicated servers in, it kind of does now. Uh, but with this, they just kind of took that idea away, and I really miss that. Because sometimes you really don't want to keep going back into the same game for whatever reason. And to be honest with you, I didn't really want to go back into this game, to be fair. <laughs> but the, uh, like I say, the, the server browser was like, no, you are going to go back in and you are going to get frustrated. We've decided this for you, so accept your fate. So I kind of did, and I thought to myself, do you know what, I am going to flush him out. I'm going to try and smoke him out like a mole in a hole, but it didn't really work. He was uh, he was one step ahead every single time. Every time I kind of creeped over the hill to have a look, because he, he always switched positions. You know, he stayed in the same place for a certain amount of time, and then he would kind of move a little bit further over and just hard scope on the grass. And the most frustrating thing is, because he was always that little step ahead, because he was always ready for you, you're kind of at a disadvantage because you're coming over just, you know, you're edging, edging just slightly, 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 and then you get shot and it's game over, so it's too late. And one of the things I really miss, going back to the older Call of Duties that they've, I don't know why they ever took it away, was the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 system of people's names shown above their head. Now, I don't know if you remember, but Cold-Blooded, basically, one of the advantages of Cold-Blooded was that if you got it pro, it made your gamer tag hidden. So what a lot of people used to do, especially boosters and things, they used to go off and boost in the bushes and their gamer tags just wouldn't be visible and you would have a real difficult time finding them. If they were stupid boosters, they would go and hide in a nice pile of uh, <laughs> some nice tall grass and then you'd just hear the little tactical insertions and see these two little names hidden amongst the grass. So I, I kind of wish they'd never took that away because it made it quite easy to identify people. I think they could have done with keeping that in because it would have made it a little bit easier for me if I was creeping over the hill and I could have just seen that name and had a vague idea of where he was going to be. So yeah, what a bum. What an absolute bum. Sir, you have earned your place high and mighty in the stakes of the Call of Duty Noob of the Week. You rank first. How's that? Here's your trophy. Accept it with love, honour and respect. Well, about as much as you possibly can for doing what you do, like a bus. So yeah, there we go. His game attack is there, it's on the Xbox 360. Feel free to go over and tell him what a sterling job he's doing of uh, keeping the Call of Duty community strong and keeping the game players alive and making it not frustrating for any of us whatsoever. <laughs> oh, very valid winner indeed. Congratulations. The trophy is yours. You've earned it, sir. Apocalypse done. Hard's always raging, then they get to fussing. They always rage quit, and then they start cussing. I'm trolling online, but I ain't saying nothing. Cause if I'm in your game, then I'm boosting, busting.